So how does it work when we send a satellite into space to look at the ocean? The process to build a spacecraft is quite long uh, because it's a highly technical engineering feat. What we're after is cutting edge instrumentation that allows us to look at the ocean and the ocean surface and what we have in the top 50 meters. That data is used to provide information to policymakers, uh, both in Europe and internationally, to monitor the health of our ocean. This is important for our planet because the ocean covers 75% of our planet's surface, if you include the ice-infested regions. So when international agreements are ratified by governments, there is a need to uh, make sure we have an evidence base that not only provides the means to set the policy, but also to monitor the policy when it's enacted and to take decisions on that policy if there are infringements to that policy. Space gives us access to quasi-instantaneous data over the entire global ocean, which is unprecedented in detail. And that is the evidence base that we use today to ensure that European and international policies are maintained. So for example, if a ship were to flush its tanks while at sea, uh, we can see that from space using synthetic aperture radar. We have a satellite called Sentinel-1, which is part of the European Union Copernicus program. With this spacecraft, we can see very clearly oil spills, but not only that, we can capture at the spacecraft the automated information system, the AIS data, which will identify the ship that's polluting. This is extremely important for the safeguarding of our seas and the protection of biodiversity. The ocean is in measurable decline. We need to take action to protect our oceans, our one ocean. It is the lifeblood of our society. The phytoplankton and zooplankton that are living in the ocean form the base of the food chain. Without them, there can be no life, no blue, no green.